ok friends i open a start page of plc module software and I'll click on new select the name and go for location click on this add device and create create now we will select the controller 2080 LC10 QWB is our module and select then add to project now we have a new screen with the program now go to a program in the left hand side add and then new LDR ladder diagram then I got a one page ladder diagram double click on this so we will get a one new page now we will start our ladder diagram first I will take one invo this is for start then select I00 then I will give a name of start start ok now I got start then one more nc take this as we'll select input as 0 1 di 0 1 then I am using here stop ok then I am using one a bit called latch now we will go for a new run for adding a conveyor motor so then I have taken one NO here then in same latch and conveyor motor as a output I am giving conveyor motor as 0 2 we will name this as conveyor motor we we'll take one more run for bottle sensor so bottle sensor I am selecting input terminal digital input 4 bottle sensor so one thing need to be a careful there is no space in between the name okay once the bottle sense is over I will take one more round Next, we'll select on a no. <coughs> this is I'm using latch, so, and then I'm 
control sensor add on instruction block here as timer on I'll give name fill in time filling delay next we'll give elapsed this is one output has taken as a filling over once the six seconds this filling over is turned on here then one more n for taking filling over and one instruction block we'll use here as t on then i'm using here a small delay then we'll change for 3 seconds then we'll use elapsed one then one more bit output as delay out will name it as d e l a y delay out so this delay out will use at bottle cell so that as n c one nc i'm going to take here as bottle sense near to a conveyor motor so that once the bottle sense then the conveyor motor has to stop so that i have used nc here and to hold this bottle sense we will take one parallel say here and in one now we will add one more run to turn on the solenoid valve to fill the water okay we will use one latch to fill the water we need to add one latch here one bottle sensor and then filling over need to add on filling over here and then a solenoid valve solenoid valve will take this as output 0 1 so here solenoid n o i d solenoid tap once the solenoid tap function is over we need to turn on a buzzer so that it indicates it completes the process so that we'll use one again the latch one more in was filling over
then one instructions block or tn block Once the solenoid function is over, we need to turn on buzzer after completion of the a process that we will use counter, counter block we will use count up, so that we can use number of bottles can be filled at a time as a one cycle. So, this is will as counter reset we use some boolean C O U N T. R S T, the name is R S T, and we will take this input as this one C O U N T R S T counter reset, and then this is bottle count B O T T L E C O U N T. We give some numbers, 10 numbers or 5 numbers. Say here it is total count. So, then we will use one buzzer here as an output we use some output port as buzzer. I am using output 3, digital output 3 pin as a buzzer. Okay, this is about our program. One parallel is required here for a start to hold on the latch one n o is required here okay, now this is about our program so that the program is completed so now we will download this program to our plc module hi friends this is the screen what we are seeing here is a standard workbench for allen bradley micro 810 plc so, now the system is disconnected from the PLC that we can see here. Now, we need to connect by click on download directly from this button. First, we will build this program so that we can see that build 1 succeeded and 0 failed. If the program is right, then it is 1 succeeded and 0 failed. So, now we will download the program by clicking on this button. The controller is in remote run mode, change to remote yes, click on yes. Now, on the right hand bottom side or corner, you can see that the program is downloading here. So, our PLC system is already connected using a USB communication cable. Now, the download is completed, change the controller to remote run execute controller project, yes, click on yes. Now, so in the screen, the run mode is turned on as a green. Now, the system is ready for working. Now, we will start the process. According to the PLC program software or ladder diagram, we are written DI00 is used to start the system and DI01 is used to stop the system and uh, DI04 is used to connect the bottle sensor and this 0 di05 is used to 
reset the program. DO or digital output 0.1 is used to connect a filler pump and DO or digital output second terminal is used to connect a conveyor motor. It will connect this conveyor motor. Conveyor motor is working at 12 volts and filler pump is also working at 12 volts and uh, this bottle sensor is at 24 volts. Once the process is completed, this buzzer is going to turn on that is working at 24 volts which is connected at the 0 0.3 or digital output 0.3 that will connect so here with the ground. Now the connection is completed. Let us start the process. Now the wiring of PLC system is completed. Now it is ready for the filling operation. So our PLC is set for totally 5 bottles for one operation. I am placing 5 bottles. After filling is completed, our PLC is going to stop the process. So now let us start the process by pressing a digital input 00. zero. So after completion of these 5 bottles, our system is going to stop automatically and buzzer start running. So now the total system is reset by using a digital input 05 input. Now our PLC is ready for the next operation. 